What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Let me just say this. I understand why celebrities marry each other. Let me even take it to another level. I understand very well why rich people marry each other because they both have something to lose. One of the worst things you can do as a progressive person is to marry somebody who comes from a class lower than you or a person who has not achieved, who has not achieved anything. So I get it. However, on the flip side, people who are successful, um, and I will say this, especially with, uh, with women that are successful in competitive industries, the edge that it takes for them to become that person in the industry, it, it causes them to become more masculine. All right, more masculine. Let me say that. So now, once a man, you know, gets with her, he's like, well, ha, huh, you know, man, I finally got a girl that ain't begging for money. You know, she's not, you know, always nickeling and diming me all the time. But then some of the other things you may want in the relationship are not there. All right. And that may happen with most celebrity relationships like Iman Schumpert, Tiana Taylor. I mean, at first they were fine. They were having an amazing separation. If you can say that they both divorced, but now the information has gotten public. And what she's saying is she's upset that Iman Schubert made it public. All right. And basically he made their identities public in a recent court filing in their divorce case. So they're supposed to do it in private, but the privacy is out of the window and they're not living under good terms. Um, things are happening. And now what she's asking is she wants to have privacy for her and her kids at this time. But the reality is you're a celebrity. Okay. You're a celebrity. And here's something that, you know, me being a YouTuber that people know, like, it's not like so bad, but I'm sometimes in the grocery store like, oh, are you OCD Jackson? Like, yeah. Wow. Love your videos. So it's not like I'm a celebrity like Tiana Taylor where everybody knows you, right? If you're somebody that everybody knows you, you keep forgetting that you're just a normal person. Like the way I look at myself, it's not the same as maybe somebody who looks at me differently thinking that I'm actually a great person or something, which is not that true. I mean, I'm an okay person, I'm not that great, right? But you're looking at it as if people don't know who you are or don't research things about you every day. And so because you made your relationship public and you're a public figure, what did you think was going to happen? That, that's my question. Did you think that they were not going to do that? Like, did you not feel that way? Of course they're going to do that. That's what people do in the industry. You are a public figure. Now you want privacy. You didn't want no privacy when you was posting y'all's videos out there. What did, did, did you? Y'all's pictures, right? Did you want privacy when everything was going good? Like these are things that entertainers have to go through and understand. You know, if you if if, if you felt like he was not going to be a person that you could st stick with, why did you marry the guy? And again, now you're blaming the guy. You're the one that filed for divorce. So he's telling people like, hey, look, these are the things that she said about me in the divorce. You said it. You publicly said it. You, you said all these things about the guy. He's insecure. He's jealous. He's this. He's that. Okay, like, if you wanted to divorce the guy, I'm pretty sure there were ways that you can do it without saying those things. All right? Without saying those things. You know, what did uh, Jesus say? Irreconcilable differences. No, you went into detail. All right? And it could be true, but you went into detail about what was going on. That's what you did. Now, you know, it, it, it ain't the same no more. And, 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 and y'all ain't cool no more. Now you wanting privacy. No, no, you're not going to get it. You put your stuff out there. You're a goddamn celebrity. If you don't want people to know your business, stop getting married to people publicly and putting your business out there, then they wouldn't know. Do you know how many celebrities have relationships that don't nobody know who the other person is? They don't know them. It's so many relationships that are that celebrities have been for years. Nobody knows the wife, nobody knows the husband. And to be honest, nobody would have cared if you would have told nobody. Who are you married to? Don't worry about that. Cool, all right, that's fine. She don't want nobody to know. 
But that ain't what you did. Let's go and show the whole world. You see, because let me tell you this. A lot of ladies want to have these public relationships. I'm gonna tell you like this, right? A lot of guys don't like that, man. Um, I'm not the kind of person that likes a lot of public relationships. I just don't. Number one, if I have a wife or a girlfriend, I don't want you um, trying to harass her. Because first of all, it's not your business, all right? It's not your business. So I don't want you in my girlfriend's DMs or trying to find information on her family because she haven't done nothing to you, all right? And I've had this situation before, like girls get mad. Well, why don't you post me on your WhatsApp? Why don't you post me on your IG? Because why does it matter to them, you know? Why? They're gonna come after you. So these people don't like you. So you wanna get credit for us being in a public relationship but they're gonna harass you. Do you wanna be called names because somebody don't like your boyfriend and be scrutinized? No, that's why I don't be putting a lot of stuff out here on, inter on the internet. I, your boy don't do bad for himself. Let's just talk about that. Your boy don't do bad for himself at all. There are things that God has allowed me to do. You will never see me posting it on social media. LAR Movement just came here. He came here for about five or six days. It's things that I do in my everyday life, nigga would not even believe that I'm doing but that's not for you to see because I don't want you in my goddamn business, okay? I want you to know me for me making some goddamn YouTube videos and that's it. You don't need to know nothing else about me, who I'm dating, who I tricked on, who I bought some sandals and weaves for. It ain't none of your goddamn business and you need to shut your ass up, all right? Point blank and simple, it's not your business. And if more celebrities and more business people more professional people would think about it like that. Then you wouldn't you wouldn't have these problems. But y'all wanna go ahead and put y'all stuff out there to the world, then you break up five months later, then y'all can't get along, cause you know I'm gonna tell you like this. A lot of young people in, in black relationships, I hate to say this, but don't have no, uh, no level of uh, self-control, all right? No level of self-control. So y'all out there, when y'all get into argument, you don't know how to have no self, you know, no kind of reconciliation skills, nothing. Just going after you like you just ain't got no sense. You know what I mean? When it's good, it's good. When you're in the bedroom, it's good. But then when it's bad, that's that's why y'all out there dusty. Then you want to get mad at some what? Body else. You better take your ass up out of here. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.